breaking into the world of data analytics can be brutal. You're competing with hundreds of applicants, trying to learn dozens of tools, and getting ghosted for entry-level jobs because you lack experience. How does that even make sense? The good news is that landing your dream job doesn't have to be this painful. You just need the right roadmap and resources to get it done. I'm going to walk you through the exact five-step process that helped me launch my own data career and that more than a million of my students have used to build new skills, showcase their work, and launch or accelerate their careers. It all starts with finding your path. Before you dive into courses or tutorials, step back and ask yourself, what type of work are you passionate about? What types of problems are you excited to solve? Do you love visualization and storytelling, data architecture, machine learning? Analytics is a huge space encompassing a wide range of roles, from business intelligence and data viz to data science and engineering. If you aren't sure where to start, check out our free Pathfinder survey which will match you with the perfect role and learning paths based on your skills and interests, even if you're just getting started. Now, once you've narrowed down your path, it's time to learn how to think like an analyst. That means knowing how to break down problems, design measurement plans, collect and analyze the data you need, and communicate insights clearly and concisely. That's how great analysts turn data into decisions. Now, one of the biggest mistakes people tend to make is that they over-index on technical skills. Now listen, we live in a world where AI is writing better code than 99% of humans. So these softer skills like strategic thinking, communication, and business acumen are more important than ever. That's why we recommend taking our data literacy foundations and thinking like an analyst courses before you dive into the technical deep end. Step three is all about building your skills foundation. This part feels overwhelming, but don't overcomplicate it, especially if you're new to the game. It's all about the essentials. Excel, the analytics OG, SQL, probably the most versatile coding language out there, and a data viz platform like Power BI or Tableau. That is a rock solid skill set that will make you an asset to 99% of companies out there. Try to focus on learning one tool at a time and don't stress about mastering everything you see on job descriptions which are really just wish lists at the end of the day. This was a mistake that I made early in my career where I felt pressured to know everything. So instead of going deep on the tools that would really help me make an impact, like Excel and SQL, I tried learning Python, R, and SAS at the same time, which kind of made me a jack of all trades, but a master of none. So when I narrowed my focus on building truly expert level skills in just one or two areas, that's when my career really began to take off. Also, remember that AI models like ChatGPT and Copilot can be amazing tools to accelerate your skills, especially for things like generating and troubleshooting code, automating repetitive tasks, and breaking down complex topics. So if you're looking for a hands-on, project-based approach to learning, check out our guided learning paths at Maven Analytics, and make sure to take a peek at our free ChatGPT course, which includes some incredibly powerful AI demos. That brings us to step four. No matter how technically proficient you are or how many badges or credentials you've earned, it means nothing unless you can showcase those skills and apply them by solving real business problems. That's where your project portfolio comes in. A strong portfolio is an incredible asset and can level the playing field when you don't have professional experience to lean on. This is your chance to show off your problem solving abilities, flex those technical skills, and prove that you have what it takes to succeed on the job. And this is actually a huge reason why I was able to land my first data analyst job almost 20 years ago. I actually printed out a presentation that I had developed in one of my college courses and offered to walk through it during my interview. It was such a natural way to share some of the actual work that I had produced and demonstrate how passionate I was about the role. The best part, we now have tools to make this incredibly easy. You can build, host, and share your own portfolio for free using Maven Showcase. And we also have monthly challenges and guided projects that you can use to get your own portfolio up and running. Last but not least, I can't overstate how important it is to market yourself and build a personal brand. You might be the most qualified candidate on the market, but without a brand, you're essentially invisible to employers. So what exactly does that mean and how do you build a brand? Well, it's about nailing the essentials, like your resume and portfolio, but also about expanding your network, making connections, getting active in communities, 
and actively promoting the work that you're doing and the skills that you're building. When your public persona screams that you're passionate about data, opportunities will start coming to you and so many doors will begin to open. If you're ready to step up your own personal brand, we have a great data career roadmap learning path at Maven Analytics, which dives into resume writing, portfolio building, networking, interview prep, and more. So there you have it. That's my five-step roadmap for launching your data analytics career. This is your year to land that dream job, and we're here to help you make it happen. Thanks for watching. As always, make sure to like and subscribe for more data and career content just like this, and I'll see you in the next one.